What we have here is a uh, throttle by wire throttle body. Um, I'm pretty sure it's off of a Toyota V6 or maybe even a four cylinder, but I'm pretty sure it came off of a V6. Um, this is the uh, technology that you'll find in most modern cars now. Um, the main difference, it still has this cap on here. The main difference is uh, that it's all electronic now. Um, there's a plug that plugs in here that receives signals from a number of different components in your car that tells the throttle what to do. So to get this thing apart, there's six rivets. Um, so we'll have to basically drill those out because the this thing isn't meant to come apart. It's not meant to be serviceable. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. I won't be using this again. It's just... Uh, just for curiosity's sake, so I don't mind throwing it in the vise. Okay. So there's all six rivets drilled out. And, uh... Without opening it up, I don't know, but uh, under all this I'm expecting to find uh, basically as simple as a couple of gears that uh, that open and close this. And you can hear it if you if you move the, the butterfly. You can hear the gears in there moving around. So I guess next we'll crack that open. So it should just be as simple as getting a flat blade in there and just prying up this plastic cover and it should just pop right off. Hopefully nothing falls out. There we go. I can feel something magnetic in there. I'm guessing it's this guy. Yeah. So inside here we've got two contacts and uh, I'm guessing this is what drives the actual movement inside here. Let's see if we can get it to move. There we go. Um, so th there is six contacts here and it looks like two of them go to these contacts and then the other four I'm guessing go to this unit. Don't ask me how. Some smart guy out there figured that out. So that's that. Uh, manufactured by Denso. Uh, Nippon Denso is a big electronics manufacturer. They uh, supply a lot of imported cars with uh, with electronics and various sensors and stuff. And actually, a lot of uh, domestic vehicles rather are uh, using their equipment as well, which is a very good thing. So, what else is in here? We have uh, looks like basically three gears. So this black gear here is uh, the actual driving. Um, Oh shit, no it's not. Okay, so getting this thing apart now. Um, at first I was a little confused, but uh, I think I've got it now. Um, these two contacts drive the motor over here. This small, this small gear is the motor itself. So it, it gets power and spins up this beige gear. And you can see, you can see how uh, precise these can, things can be with such a, a large gear reduction. Um, how how precise and finite you can get the throttle movement. Very cool. So you push the gas pedal. This little gear turns, depending on how hard you push it. Spins this beige gear up, and the uh, down below that you can't see it below this beige gear turns this black one, which is directly connected to the butterfly and I can't open it up full throttle because it's hitting my vice so there's a uh, idea of how it works there anyway I'm guessing these gears are no they're not pressed on they just slide right off um, so there's the beige one so you can see that this this lower portion was driving this uh, this black one here and the upper larger gear was being driven directly by the motor so you can, oh, anyway, um, 
So there's that. So these um, the screws that hold this motor in are those stupid special ones with uh, with the little peg right in the middle. I don't have those bits, so I have no way of getting those out. Unless I drill them, of course, which actually I'm prepared to do. So maybe that's what I'll do. See how that works. So we drilled out the three bolts and uh, I vacuumed out the shavings in there so we wouldn't make too much of a mess. This should just slide out, yep. And uh, there it is, there's the motor. Um, fairly straightforward, it's all sealed. It's sort of a, one of those permanent type motors that, uh, well you would never be in here anyway to service this thing so um, these are probably supposed to last a very very long time. Um, two contacts on here as we saw earlier so um, I'm guessing it's just sort of an on or off type motor. Um, 12 volt more than likely I think maybe less I don't know. Um, yeah, cool little motor for, for a hobbyist or uh, something. Really smooth. There is a big spring under here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, see how there's a spring in here? That, uh, that lets this retract. There's quite a bit of resistance there. It really, it really springs back. I don't know how this is going to come apart, but uh, hopefully we can, we can save some of it. Maybe not. I don't see any bolts or anything. So this may just have to be... A destructive type thing to get this out of here. I don't want to have shards of plastic fly at my face, so. It's just kind of flexing. I don't I don't feel anything getting looser. If we can't get the uh, that black gear out from that end, I think our best bet is to uh, get at this frost plug. Hopefully we can just pop that out. That's really in there. I would have thought that would just pop right out. But I think I might just bend my drifts instead. That's really in there. And that's being a real bugger. No luck from that end. I just mangled the end of the shaft is all. That was silly. Well, I guess we'll just have to destroy this. Okay, there we go. There's some progress. There's another big piece. It's good plastic. That's probably the stuff they make phones out of. What a pain in the ass. Why do they have to build these things so tough? So, yeah, it's mangled. Pretty wonky looking, well, not that it's bent, but it's got a stop on the bottom and then a stop halfway up and then another stop at the top. Kind of interesting. Painted green in there too. And now that's free to move however it wants. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see uh, if I can drift this out because I think that might just be a press fit. Of course, the butterfly is still attached, which just occurred to me. So even if I wanted to, I still couldn't get it out because the butterfly is attached. So. We'll have to take the butterfly off, which is held on by two Phillips screws. And usually the backs of the screws are 
peened over a little bit by a machine so that these screws can't back themselves out. Uh, you can imagine the devastation if one of these screws got sucked into your motor while it's running. Usually these are in there pretty good, so I don't expect to get them out very easily. Not exactly using the best screwdriver in the world either. Nope, I'm just stripping them. So, that might be as far as I get. Of course now the butterfly is a bit sticky since I just hammered on it a couple times. But, uh, that's, I think, as far as I'm going. Because I really don't know how to get that plastic off. Or rather, past that point anyway. So, there you have it. Throttle by wire. Um, with all these parts in it. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. So, thanks for watching.